All right, guys, um, just now finally linking it all together. So we've done topic, explanation, evidence, and we're going to link it. Now, obviously, in your response, you're going to expand out a lot further because you'll have a lot more written in here and probably a bit more up in here and in here. Um, you could also tie in a little bit of this here. Uh, remember how we looked at the effect of time on Picasso's work and possible meaning uh, being around the time of the Second World War. So it could be about her weeping over maybe her husband that's lost or it could be an envious kind of crying. We've looked at several different explanations and ultimately there's an infinite number of explanations or interpretations as to where uh, Picasso could have been going with the meaning of this painting. So the link... Linking it all back into the question. Probably best if we look at our question again. So what elements has Picasso used in his paintings to communicate meaning to his audience? Uh, we could say something like from or considering considering the above uh, or considering the evidence presented we can see that Picasso has deliberately used um, symbols and elements in his well, sorry about my typing, in his work that can be used to communicate strong. Meaning to us as an audience. Hopefully, uh, your typing is a little faster than mine. I'm sure it probably will be. I'm not fantastic at touch typing, as you've probably just worked out. So, that roughly sums it up. What you can do then is you can then delete the, this structure through here, and then you can make these sentences work better. Um, and I'll start doing that now. This is a bare bones explanation. You guys will fill this out further, like for example, more examples of color and subject matter, things like that. Yeah. Now, like I said before, we haven't really gotten too concerned about sentence structure and punctuation and things like that yet. Okay, this is where you just start to tighten it all up and build it into more of a paragraph. And you can see here that I'm obviously going to put my capitals in, do some basics like that. And I'm obviously going to have to read through it several times and start doing some editing and start to tighten up some of those sentences so that they sound a little bit more legible. And that gets it all flowing. But you can see here, there is your teal paragraph, the basic stuff anyway, um, with your topic um, explanation, uh, yeah, topic explanation, evidence, and your linking sentence. Okay, I hope you have fun with that. Make sure you uh, keep in touch and send through any uh, questions you have through Teams, which is, seems, seems to be the best way to go with that, and have a great time.